Make your very own unique league card. What is up, guys? I'm Daddy Gamerfred, and today we're gonna go over what exactly is a league card and how is it gonna impact our playthrough inside of Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Now, again, this is coming from the official Pokemon Sword and Shield website. I'm gonna have a link to this news article in the description below if you want to check it out for yourself. But let's just jump right into it. It says Pokemon trainers in the Galar region make league cards for themselves these cards provide detailed information about the trainer and they can be traded and given out across the region as trainers you will have your own league card you can use the league card maker functionality of Rotom to customize your card until you hit a design you are happy with and we got an image of Hop saying, you know what? I even give you one of my league cards. So we're going to be able to collect it from NPCs, it looks like, including our rival Hop. It says, greetings, trainer. What can I help you with? Zit. And it looks like that's Rotom talking inside of the Pokemon Center. And one of the things that you can do that it shows promptly on this list, it says, check boxes, try the Lodo ID, check Poke Jobs, And it also says, that use card maker so it looks like inside of the pokedex on the pc or on the road time or whatever we're going to be able to make our league cards there it says the card maker will give out a lot of freedom in editing your league card you'll be able to change the background the frame your expression your pose and more and then you show a couple of examples of how we're going to be able to edit with the backgrounds and our poses and stuff like that it says you can trade league cards with other players and league cards are displayed during link battles to make one that is really unique you'll be able to check all the league cards you receive from others in your album so we're also going to be able to have an album of people that we encounter through our pokemon adventure as you can see they're showing leon we also have on this list we have hot we have milo which we know is a gym trainer, and as well as Gloria as well. We get a league card from her. So I think this is pretty cool as a way to see trading cards and stuff like that. There's a one on the Leo card, so I wonder what that represents. Also has his signature. I'm hoping we can leave our signature on our league cards because that'd be so incredible. That'd be funny. Also, what I'm noticing on the, these league cards, there's also other numbers, and we do know that there's a three-digit number system that you can add to your player's jersey and stuff like that. So I wonder if this is just a display of their league numbers and Leon being number one you know he has the number one league number there's also stars over the Gloria League card I wonder what that represents and you can also see it on the list it shows like it says shield sword and then next to those players names it has stars and it has one star respectively I wonder what those stars mean it currently doesn't explain but I would think it would just be maybe how many times we encountered the person or or how strong level they did or maybe how much gym badges they obtained or whatever right now we do not know but I am very interested in seeing and finding out more it does seem pretty cool like something we can do we always had like these league cards and previous games where it was just basically your trainer card and showed all the badges you've done and how many pokemon you call and how much money you got but it was never something as detailed in depth as this where you can basically customize it and then also give it to trainers online give it to players inside of the world and the NPCs give you theirs and stuff like that. I think this is pretty cool. Very unique too as well. I'm wondering will it display all those information like Pokemon Call and their experience with the game and stuff like that. How much badges do they have? As we walking around interacting with NPCs in the game, I'm, I'm wondering will they display that information as well? Because that would be pretty cool to see how many Pokemon Leon has caught in his adventure as well as hop while we are you know continually trying to become pokemon league champion you can see his card update and be like oh he caught 34 pokemon oh now he's up to 55 now he's up to 60. i think that'll be pretty cool in your adventure to kind of keep that competition alive i wonder if we're gonna have access to that information but nonetheless it it seems pretty cool it's a pretty small feature yes but it is 
something that I know I'm gonna enjoy. I wanna hear from you guys. Are you gonna be deep into making your lead card unique or are you gonna just keep, you know, like some basic lead card just to get it done and just to have one essentially? Let me know in the comment section below which side of the fence you're falling on that one. Your thoughts on elite cards inside a Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Like always, guys, I answer all comments, so let's chat it up in the comment section below. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed, and also hit that subscribe button if you want more content like this. Again, I do a ton of Pokemon content here on the channel, so if you like, please hit that subscribe button. Also, ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. I'm on the road to 1K subscribers. I have about 963, I think, as of recording. So again, if you want to help me hit that 1K go, please hit that subscribe button. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next Pokemon Sword and Shield video. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on Instagram and Twitter, and you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube, and yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of videos just like this one. So if you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.